Welcome back to Cursed Mining and today I want to talk about buying used mining rigs. We just built the basis for rebuilding the rig we will be talking about. So as you might have guessed I bought a GPU mining rig used and want to talk about the experience as well as show what I do after a purchase like that. So I often buy used parts but never bought a used and already built mining rig as a whole. I jumped on a deal and first it sounded too good to be true but the seller only wanted to sell in Austria which is a small country and only accepted bank transfer or cash upon pickup and that is why I guess I ended up with a very good deal. He offered shipping but hell no. I thought if I have luck finding a good deal then I won't destroy it with shipping. So I got in contact with the seller and a bit of orientation for you. I'm in the south of Austria around this lake here and the guy was in Graz, a lovely city. So it was road trip time, around one and a half hour in one direction. I met a nice guy, an IT technician, and because of the good deal I brought him a bottle of whiskey as well. Why not? He invited me in and the rig was still standing, running with one car to show me that it works. And nope. <laughs> No one hit me over the head with a baseball bat and stole everything I got, but I do admit that it was a strange feeling nevertheless. So here you just have to check the cards. Are they running and mining? You are buying expensive tech, so don't hesitate to be a bit annoying. Do you see if the rig has been leaking? Are there oily substances around the backplates or somewhere else? We had a video on GPU and substances, which I'll link in the top right corner. This can be an indicator how hard the GPUs were tortured. Another tip is to try to spin the fans a bit with one finger when the GPUs are off. Here you can see if they are stuck up or grinding already or if they still run smoothly. Everything worked fine except that the first thing I saw was SATA adapters used to power risers. You already know that I'm pretty paranoid about that because SATA is limited in power and I've talked about that at length. Besides that the rig looked fine. So let's talk about what I bought. It's 6 RX 580s Sapphire Pulse Edition in a do-it-yourself open airframe. The motherboard is a bit older, H81 chipset with a G1840. It's two cores at 2.8 GHz. There are 8 GB of DDR3 RAM in one stick, which is a bit of overkill for this rig. And the power supply is a Corsair HX1200. This alone made the deal worth for me because it's an expensive platinum rated power supply. Other than that, the small things like power button and USB stick were all included. So packing everything up in the car safely, it was on to the drive home with a good feeling and looking forward to an evening of tinkering. Upon arriving home, the rig didn't end up in the mining room, but rather went into my office space. It will become the heater for the winter here anyway. I just could not test it with these SATA risers. I just couldn't. So that was the first thing I did even before testing it. Redoing cables. I got rid of the SATA adapters and generally all SATA cable and powered two risers per Molex cable. Since the power supply had enough spaces left and I have enough cables for exactly that power supply. Also I screwed the cards into the do-it-yourself frame because they were loose before and then it's on to testing. The frame won't stay as you saw in the last video and I have other plans with it but it's always nice to see do-it-yourself solutions. So again I was checking all the cables that the connectors are plugged in correctly nothing happened during the drive and then it's on to the software. The owner before me was still dual mining Ethereum and Zia coin on Ethos but I wanted to switch the 580s to Monero. So I loaded up an USB stick with HiveOS and started tinkering with the software while letting the rig run. Runs very cool in the open air setup. The cards are between 50 and 60 degrees C because as I told you the heating system of my house is still off. In this testing phase I'm still not at the hash rate I'd like to be. So without tinkering too much I am around 4.3 kilohash at 600 watts power consumption on Kryptonite V8. Had I seen any card hot right now, I'd already have taken it apart here and there and repasted it like you've seen with many videos on the channel. But in the testing phase everything was cool, so I might only clean them when I start rigging them into their new home. Normally I like to open up used cards directly or as soon as I can, but not 6 at a time. Please mind that this video is no recommendation to buy used mining rigs, nor a warning not to do so. I thought it might be interesting to share the individual experience I had and what my steps are in a case like this. Of course I also 
also have to say that I had luck with this rig. We already built this base, the rig will move into last week. So keep your eyes open for part 2 of that, when the cars will move in and we will do some cable management. For now I can say that I am sitting in my office with one window open and have no need for additional heating. So that's exactly what I wanted. I might sell some of the spare parts, say the motherboard and CPU, since I still got an H110 Pro PC Plus too many anyway. I also thought about combining the rig with my other AMD rig, getting rid of all the weaker cards or consolidate a bit, but let's see about that. For now I'm really happy about heating and that my Monero hash rate practically doubled. Thank you very much for tuning in, happy mining and deal hunting to all of you and bye! I thought it might be interesting to share the... <laughs> it... <laughs>